Blessed greeting, dear Sherman House family and friends. Abby and I welcome you to join us in this subject, Seek Peace. Seek Peace. A home without peace is a rough place to live yes, in. It sure is. A marriage without peace is a rough place to live in. A church without peace. Mm -hmm. Things are torn apart without peace. And that's not what God wants for us. God has peace for us. Sometimes we just have to look for it. It's there because God made a promise. The Prince of Peace has already come. Let us seek peace. We come this day, Father, and forever, thanking you and praising you that thou art El Shaddai, Almighty God, that you sent us the, priest, the Prince of Peace. Wash us of sin so that our Holy Spirit will manifest in us and help us to find and keep peace in every area of our lives so that we are God-pleasing and all we think, we say, and we do. God, help us have the peace that surpasses all understanding, which is from you. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen. Amen. You know, I, I like thinking about what's next and what's coming up. But the thing is that if you don't have peace in your search, it makes it hard. Mm -hmm. And you can overreact. Have you ever seen somebody doing something, all of a sudden they fall down, they stop, and they get all mad? And they... But here's the thing is, if peace is a primary goal of ours, then that's what we're going to seek no matter what we face. And I think we'd always seek peace. See, when you search for a treasure, you really want to find it. And our daily devotion gave us an example of things that people search for. If they can't find it, it's not peaceful. Okay? You got to search for your keys and you can't find them. <laughs> That's a mess. Okay? You need your iPhone, you need your phone, and you can't find it. Okay? You got a schedule and you can't find it. You're supposed to be doing something. You're not sure of it. Or else, let's say you're getting ready to go to a wedding and you want to look nice. Mm -hmm. And you can't find the right dress that you wanted to wear. Okay? Or else, you look up. And you find other things that you really like to have, but you can't find it. It takes away our peace. And what I believe is that if that is something that God has given you, you ought to place it in your treasure spot so that it can be used forever in all that you do. And I think prayer is one of the key things to peace. Yes. So you can pray yes. whether you're going to look for your keys or you're sitting in a car or you're laying on your pillow at nighttime and you're waking up and you think about something. Guess what? You ought to seek peace and all that you're going through, not as a preach, but as a way to walk and talk and to live. In Psalms 34, Psalms 34, we find these words in 13 through 15, how to set us up for peace. It says, keep your tongue from evil. You know, if the tongue is bad, everything else is going to come out bad, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So you start using that tongue in an evil way and people are listening to you and you're not happy and you don't have any peace. You're going to take away their peace, too, and it's going to be worse for you. And it says, and your lips from speaking to see. So sometimes it's best just to be quiet and pray and maybe even have a silent night like the Christmas song. Okay. <laughs> 14, it says, depart from evil and do good. It says, leave it. If something is causing you to want to use profanity or profane people to do something, Depart from it. Leave it. Don't let that be a part of your life and what you do. Okay. I've had friends in college that had to walk away because they like smoking marijuana. Mm. Okay. They didn't want to drink alcohol, but they want to smoke. I couldn't have that. That's one part of my life and part of what I should do. You got to depart from evil and do good. And the thing is, you can never stay in the middle. There's, you can't stay in the middle. You either got to be seeking peace or you're falling to the other side. So that's why it tells us seek peace. And pursue it. So the thing is that when you're pursuing peace and you focus on that, it won't allow you to drift off into the other things that take away your peace, your joy, and the life that God has for us. That's true. So this Psalm 34 has all the ingredients for peace and joy. Mm -hmm. David said he sought the Lord. Bless the Lord, and that he make his boast in the Lord. He said to taste him, meaning to experience him. He said to trust him, to fear him, and you will lack no good thing. And peace is a good thing to have. These actions prior to the, our focus verses are things that make for peace in our lives. They also make for peace with the Lord. And when we're at peace with him, it spills over to peace with our neighbors and 
peace in our churches and with other acquaintances. Yes. So seek peace as if it were gold hidden in the, in the earth or a precious jewels sought after. The King James devotional says that peace is the most value is more valuable than all the wealth in the world. We seek after va things of value, and once we and, and once you've experienced having peaceful relationships in our homes and with our spouse and our children and siblings and parents, you won't be satisfied with yes. anything less. So if you're up all night, can't sleep because you're worrying about things that you don't have any control over, yes. give it to God. Psalms 4, 8 says, In peace I will both lie down and sleep, for you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Seek God's peace. He says it surpasses all understanding. And when you seek peace and live in peace, then 2 Corinthians 13 says that the God of love and peace will be with you. Amen. Here's some takeaways for when you seek peace. When you seek peace, all who fear and trust in God will not like peace, for it is found in him mm -hmm. and him mm -hmm. alone. Second, our righteousness does not protect us from affliction. Sound like Reverend Pastor Barker's sermon. Okay? But God is near with peace. Third, we should learn, do, and teach the will of God for peace. Because here's the thing is, we got to seek, find, provide, and protect with peace, which is essential. And lastly, there's nothing charming in a baby crying. Yet God hears our tears and will give us peace. Father, thank you for your promises of peace. For you said that it surpasses all understanding, Lord. Even when we're going through the worst of crises, Lord, yes. when, you, when we have your peace, Lord, we can be content. And I thank you, Lord, that you are beside us and walking with us, Lord, through all those times. We seek your peace. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen.